So we got meatloaf and scallop potatoes, the first meal, and the ninja combi. I have to say that ninja has impressed me again. I didn't think it could get better than the speedy, but look at that. Meatloaf and scallop potatoes with a total cook time of 20 minutes. Probably 10 to 15 minutes of prep, so easily a 30, 35 minute meal. Let me show you how we did it. All right, so I'm very excited. I'm going to cook my first meal in the Ninja Combi. So we're going to make the per the recipe. Of course, I'm not going by the recipe. I'm not good at following recipes, but we are going to follow the instructions on how to cook these mini meatloaves and scalloped potatoes. So we're going to get started mixing up our meatloaf and make our first meal in our Ninja Combi. So the first thing I'm going to do, it recommended spraying this bottom pan with some non-stick spray for the potatoes. But what I'm going to do is put a little bit of olive oil on that pan and just coat that pan with the olive oil versus I'm not a big fan of those sprays. But if you wanted to do that, you can. So I'm just going to coat this real good and set this pan aside till we're ready to put the potatoes in it. All right, so what we've got here is I've got two pounds of ground chuck here. And to that, I'm going to kind of spread that meat out so that we can get all these ingredients, hopefully, in there pretty evenly. What I've got here is half of an onion, half of a medium onion, about three to four cloves of garlic, about a fourth of a bell pepper, all chopped up pretty fine in my meatloaf. I like my vegetables cut up pretty finely. And what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to put a little bit of salt on these vegetables before I ever put them in the meat. So I'm just going to stir that around just to ensure, like I said, I want every bite of that meatloaf to be seasoned. And with this much meat, we just want to make sure that everything gets seasoned in this, in these little meatloaves. Now this meatloaf recipe says that once it starts cooking, it's only going to go for 20 minutes. That's quite impressive, so my expectation that Ninja usually doesn't disappoint. So what we're going to do is we're going to spread those vegetables out. About half. And I've got some, this was half a cup of breadcrumbs. I'm using Ezekiel. I make breadcrumbs out of the end pieces of my Ezekiel bread. So we're going to do about half of those breadcrumbs. And what I've got here is two tablespoons of Worcestershire sauce and two tablespoons of a Creole mustard. Now you could use a Dijon if you wanted. You could use ketchup whatever your family's meatloaf recipe is if you have a good one go with it this is just the way i'm doing it and i'm going to put half of that and then i'm just going to kind of mix this a little bit and you really don't want to overwork your meatloaf but you do want to try to season it so that you get all of that meat season so I kind of do it in stages and again we're just going to kind of fold it gently like that and then I've got two eggs here that I've slightly beaten I'm going to pour them right into the meatloaf And again, we're going to season in layers, so I'm going to get a little bit of salt right there, a little bit of pepper, and then we're going to put the rest of these vegetables in. The rest of our breadcrumbs. And the rest of our mustard 
and Worcestershire sauce mixture. And we're just gonna, again, we're gonna fold that all around. I don't wanna be real rough with it because I want them to be good and tender, not tough. And I don't put a sauce on my meatloaf. Again, if you do, go per the directions because I think you don't put the sauce on until the last little bit of cooking. But I don't like a sauce on my meatloaf. So I'm not using any sauce whatsoever. So I've got that mixed around and I'm actually going to season one more time. Like I said, just to make sure that all of that is incorporated. And then I'm gonna take my pan and it recommends six mini loaves for two pounds and it used a sausage minus straight up ground meat. But I'm thinking seven or eight of these mini loaves uh, is plenty for a serving size. So we're gonna go ahead and I'm gonna actually get my hands in here to make sure that we get all of this incorporated. Sometimes your hands are the best tools you have. So now we're just going to divide them up and I'm going to kind of just divide them in the bowl before I start making them. And you know, you could easily make this meatballs as well instead of mini meatloaves. But meatloaf's what we're going for tonight. But I could definitely see where you could transition this over to some meatballs with some sauce in the bottom. We're just going to put them on the pan and keep building. All right, so you can see I was able to get eight on there, and you can see that is a lot of meatloaf. I honestly think those little meatloafs are more than a serving, so we definitely get a lot of meals out of this meatloaf. And this was two pounds of meat with the vegetables and the breadcrumbs and the eggs. So we're going to set that aside and get started on the potatoes. So with these potatoes, I am going to, the book recommends about a quarter of an inch. So I'm just going to slice all of these potatoes up and you see how thin those are. And I've got about a pound and a half of potatoes. So hopefully they fit in the pan. But what I've got is it, it said four Yukon gold, but it didn't give a poundage amount. So what I've got is about a pound and a half of red potatoes is what I've got. So I'm just gonna work on getting them all sliced up real thin. Okay, so you see we've got all those potatoes cut up pretty thin. So let's get our pan ready for our potatoes and let's get this meal going. So I've got that pan that we put olive oil on earlier and I'm just gonna go into that pan with all these potatoes. So to those potatoes, I'm going to add a little bit of salt and pepper. You know, potatoes love salt. A little bit of pepper. And then what I've got here in my little ninja is it recommended like butter and heavy cream and some other things in the recipe in the book. But what I've got here is about a half a cup of cottage cheese and about half a cup of cheddar cheese and just a sprinkle of salt and pepper. I'm gonna put that and I'm gonna blend that up. I may add a little milk to it depending on how thick it is. So we are gonna add about a fourth to a half a cup of milk. Once we've got that all blended up, we'll go back to our potatoes. So now I've got some, about a quarter of an onion here. 
and I'm just going to spread that on top of those potatoes and about two cloves of garlic same thing just going to sprinkle it all over those potatoes you could definitely skip this if you wanted to then we're going to go right on top of those potatoes with that cottage cheese mixture that we did we're going to put that on there and I'm just going to spread it out all over those potatoes got it all in there and I'm just going to spread it out on those potatoes I can't tell you the last time I've had scalloped potatoes so or meatloaf for that matter, we eat a lot of chicken, don't eat a lot of red meat, and when we do, it's usually a burger. So this is definitely going to be a treat. Okay, we've got that all spread out. Let's get cooking. All right, so we're going to open that up. So we're going to put those potatoes in the bottom position. And you can see, like the Speedy, it has a little button that knows when it's in there. So we're going to put that in the bottom. Y'all, this is a, some serious meatloaf. This is so heavy. But we're going to put that on that top tray. We're going to shut that door. And I'm going to double check the directions to make sure I'm doing this right. Because this is the first time I've used it. So we're going to make sure that it's on combi cooker. And we are on combi meals. And we're going to set that temperature to 350 per the instructions. And the time we're going to set to 20. Now it says 20 minutes. I don't know how thick their mini loaves are. So I'm going to set it to 25 minutes just to ensure I get those meat loaf and potatoes done. But the book does say 20 minutes. So we'll definitely check it at 20 minutes. And we're going to hit start. And what the book says is it will, the unit will steam for approximately five minutes before it actually starts cooking. Which, if it cooks it in 20 minutes, that's 25 minutes cook time. And you've got meatloaf, like I said. Usually I cook a meatloaf for at least an hour. So if it does that, it's going to be quite impressive. So, it does say if you were putting a sauce to do that when there's 10 minutes left on the timer. Again, I'm not doing that. If you wanted to do that, you definitely could, but I'm just gonna let it cook and I'll check it in 20 minutes. It did turn on and start cooking in about five minutes. And as you can see, it looks like it's sweated. I'm assuming that's normal. So it looks like it is steaming in there, even though I did not put any water anywhere. And so it has started cooking. And as far as the noise level, it may actually be a little quieter than the Ninja Speedy. Um, if not about the same, but I actually think it's, it is actually a little quieter than the Speedy is. But anyway, we're going to let it cook and see what we got in about 20 minutes. So you can see we've still just got about 11 minutes to go. And you can just barely see in there that steam is, is starting to subside from the front of that glass and you can actually see those little meatloaves but I can't express to y'all the smell in this house right now I got people coming through the kitchen thinking it's time to eat already because the ninja's just putting off these smells from this and it is absolutely got the whole house anticipating dinner so hopefully the ninja's gonna come through for us because they're starting to show up hungry all right, guys, so y'all see that we're down to five minutes, so it's the moment of truth. I'm going to go ahead and stop it. But it ended it. I was hoping it would just pause it, but you see when I hit stop, it did automatically stop. So hopefully we are done. So we're going to open that door and take a look. Look at all the steam coming out. Let's take a look. So I know that's going to be extremely hot. So 160 is what I'm going for on the temp of these little meatloaves. You can see they're good and brown on top. If you had a sauce, they would definitely be brown. You can see right there, you got a little crunch going on. I'm 
trying to find the biggest one, but let's just go right here. Oh yeah, we are done. Wow. All I can say is wow about that. 20 minutes and you have meatloaf. So I'm going to get this out of the way for just a second. Take a look at that. And we're going to look at these potatoes. And remember that was a pound and a half of potatoes. So I'm going to see how tender they are. Yes, they are definitely done. Look at that. Y'all, I cannot say how... I really did not believe it would be done in 20 minutes. That's a pound and a half of potatoes, two pounds of ground meat in a meatloaf. Let's plate it up and eat before they knock me out of the way. Meatloaf and scallop potatoes out of the new Ninja Combi. Like and subscribe now to see more. Come and get it.